Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For up to the minute Dodgers news, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you think it was the right decision to go with Walker Buehler on short rest in game six? And how do you think he'll do tonight? Give me how many strikeouts think he'll have, how many innings he'll pitch, how many runs he'll give up. I want all your takes on the decision to go with Walker Buehler. And do you still have hope in this series? I want your takes down below in the comment section. And for all it is Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. Now, do we have a lot to talk about or what? We're going to get into that Max Scherzer update in just a second. But first, it was announced this morning that Walker Buehler would be on the bump for the Dodgers in Game 6. L.A. facing elimination again tonight. They've gone 7-0 and in their last seven elimination games. And tonight, they've got to go BGs once again and stay alive. And Walker Buehler, he has been that man for the Dodgers in his postseason career. A 2-6-2 ERA in 75 five and two thirds innings pitch but this year he hasn't been the same big game Bueller so far this postseason he has a 377 ERA a 147 whip opponents are hitting 268 off him 12 punch outs to six walks and 14 and thirds innings pitched and I think that tonight Walker Bueller he wants to reestablish himself as big game Bueller and yes he is on short rest and yes that is a factor and a lot will be made about the fact that this is the second time in his career pitching on short short rest but if you look earlier in this postseason he pitched on short rest in game four of the NLDS in elimination game against the San Francisco Giants and he went four and a thirds gave up three hits allowed one earned run had two walks four punch outs in 71 pitches and yes it wasn't electric lights out Walker Buehler in that outing and I do think the Braves lineup presents a bigger challenge and also you're pitching on the road but still he got the job done and he also proved to himself that he can be a Effective on short rest. Now, if tonight was his first time going on short rest, he might be questioning himself, but he can look back on that giant start and have confidence knowing that he's gotten it done in this same situation. And then I'll add to that, just look how he performed in this series on six days rest. So he actually had the extra rest going into game three, and he goes three and two thirds innings, gives up six hits, allows two runs, had three walks, three punch outs in 76 innings pitch. So that short outing could actually help him today having only thrown 76 pitches in game three and then on top of that it's highly unlikely that he'll have an extremely unlucky inning like he did in that game in that nightmare fourth inning where the Braves were able to score four runs just so many things didn't go the Dodgers way from the Austin Riley fly ball that Gavin Lux wasn't able to make the play on he lost in the sun it was only his 11th time playing in center field it was originally ruled a double and they changed it to an error overnight and then also Bueller makes the perfect pitch that should have been strike three on Jock Peterson. Instead, he was squeezed by Jerry Meals. So if either of those go the Dodgers way and Gavin Lux makes the catch or Jerry Meals rings up Jock Peterson like he should have, Walker Bueller would have been out of that inning. Instead, the inning continues. And then on top of that, Corey Seager, he could have made a better play on Swanson single. So nothing went the Dodgers way that inning. Nothing went Walker Bueller's way that inning. And yes, Walker could have not let every Everything gets to him. It was clear that he was flustered out there, that he wasn't focusing on the task at hand. You saw he was just missing his spots. When he walked Rosario, it was clear that he was done and that Butane was out of gas. And make no mistake about it, it wasn't Bueller's day on in Game 3. He was missing his spots, didn't have his best command. He was falling behind in the count. He wasn't attacking hitters like we're accustomed to seeing. And yes, is he feeling the effects of pitching a career-high 215 innings regular season in postseason combined this year he absolutely is is the velo down a tick but I believe in Bueller today that postseason elimination game adrenaline is no joke there is no tomorrow for the Dodgers and also his last two starts combined eight innings and 147 pitches that's a little over 73 pitches per start so I think he'll have enough in the tank to go out there and give the Dodgers 
four or five quality innings. If he goes six, that'd be great. But to me, there's no reason why I can't go out there and give you five innings of one or two run ball, hopefully scoreless. I think Bueller gets it done today, and I think the Dodgers, they force a game seven because the bats, it's all about the offense. The offense has woken up, and I know they packed those bats. They're in Atlanta, and I think they'll be ready to go. But do I think it was the right decision to go with Walker Bueller for the second time in his career, the second time in this postseason on short rest? I do. And what I say last night, I said I would go with the move if you could get Max Scherzer ready for Game 7. Because if Max Scherzer was done for the postseason, I would rethink this. Because we saw Clayton Kershaw, he went four times on short rest. He went five times in relief on two days rest. And yes, those can really wear pitchers down. I think in the long run, when it comes to wear and tear and preserving what a pitcher has, you want to avoid these starts on short rest. But we're talking about a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get back back and win the World Series. And what I say yesterday, I would do it as long as there's hope for Max Scherzer in Game 7. And just seconds ago, Bob Nightingale gave us an update on Mad Max. He tweeted out, if there is a Game 7, Max Scherzer and the Dodgers are cautiously optimistic he will be able to pitch. His arm is fine, but there are other aches and pains he's dealing with at this time, including his lat muscles. So, that is very encouraging, and it tells me that Max Scherzer will go in game seven he's a gamer he's a dog if there's any chance he could pitch he's gonna go we know that about Max Scherzer we saw what happened in 2019 when he was scratched from a game five start due to a pinched nerve at his neck he got that cortisone shot and he was solid in game seven a few games later so I do think that if the Dodgers win today we will see Max Scherzer in game seven and today is all about butane getting it done and reestablishing himself as one of the the premier postseason pitchers in the game. And for me, I think the path for the Dodgers to stave off elimination and force a game seven is five strong from Walker Buehler, zero to two run ball, and then you unleash this elite Dodgers bullpen. We're going to see the big guns today from Alex Vesia to Bruce Dark Gratterall to Blake Trinan to Kenley Jansen. They can get it done out of that Dodgers pen, force game seven, and then all the pressure falls squarely on the Atlanta Braves, and you got the Atlanta sports curse doing when it's thing. I think the Dodgers are still very much in this series, but let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think it was the right move to start Walker Buehler on short rest for the second time in his career and in this postseason in Game 6? And also, what does your gut tell you? Do you think that Max Scherzer will go in Game 7? And do you think the Dodgers will ultimately win this series? I want your takes down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball all postseason long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to GearUp.LA. The best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game, you're going to find it right over there at www.GearUp.LA. Download the new Dodgers Nation app for my Android iPhone users. For latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.